Well, it's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by night in. Folks, here we go, undisputed UFC heavyweight championship fight, and all eyes are on the incumbent as he makes the walk here tonight, and he's enjoying every moment of it. Huge title defense beckons for him tonight. John, he loves where he stands in the sport. He loves the admiration that comes with being the baddest man on the planet. He knows he's the biggest, he's the strongest, he's the baddest, and he loves it. And he prepares as if he never wants to let that go. This man lives for being the best. This man lives to be in the spotlight. And time and time again, we see him defend this belt as if his life depended on it. Well, right, you lose this belt, it's essentially like walking back into your new life. He has no intention of suffering that fate here tonight. And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> First, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Joe Body Bell. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, the Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Ready. All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Big punch land through the middle. We're trying to kick the leg out. All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for those long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start. Think about striking. Oh, my goodness, what a kick! Oh, right hook attempt, no good. Oh, there's that patented leg kick. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now, because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're gonna look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Circling to his right. Nice job blocking that punch. Jeez, you can hear that. <laughs> and he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Goes to the body there. Oh, nice.
that is a clean strike, and it gets right through the guard. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Left-right combo is good. Nasty body kick downstairs. Nice combination by the champ. Another big body kick lands. Man, his sidekick is just killer. You saw it right there. He has a really good sidekick. He's so fast at doing that technique, and there is no tell when he attempts that certain strike. Beautiful kick lands there. Oh, that is a furious inside leg kick. You ever taken, like, a five-finger to the inside of your leg? That don't feel good. Never mind a kick like that. Full, I mean, slapping your leg hurts. Um, oh! Oh, well-disguised hip toss there to get his opponent down. And he is back up to his feet. Under two minutes to go here in round one. Body kick is blocked. Nice straight right lands. Oh, man. Big roundhouse now just misses. is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job and now his opponent's back on the I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You gotta take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting his head, raising the guard and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, chin down. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. 20 seconds left. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Seconds winding down in the opening round. Huge block there. Oh, now lands a kick to the body. Huh. Round two next. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round, and a lot of good offensive wrestling work from him over those previous five minutes. I mean, great offensive wrestling. Every time he changed levels and got to his opponent's legs, he was able to secure the takedown. Let's see what type of fatigue his opponent will carry into the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is on the way. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him headhunting. Most times the coaches yell, don't headhunt, don't headhunt. I'm yelling headhunt if right, I'm his corner, right. because every time he's thrown, he's landing. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Fighter starting to open up a little bit. Fighter lands a kick to the leg now, and a pretty good one at that. What a great job getting that kick to the target. 
Distance management, one-on-one, another punch lands. Circling towards the left now. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Good work. Beautiful leg kick lands. lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Well, we talk so much ad nauseum about this trend of leg kicks in MMA, but oftentimes only a few can cause real visceral damage, and now you see the limp. Yeah, you start to see him limping from the damage from the kicks. This guy did not address those kicks early, and now he's paying for it. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Just over two minutes now to go. Best punch in the game. Beautiful job. Whoa! Oh, nice right hand. Oh, champ. Yeah. Oh, nice. He missed with that jab attempt. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. What a thunderous head kick. Under a minute now to go in this one. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Pretty significant well to the left side. Shot to the head. Under 20 seconds now to go. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Ten minutes oh. in the books. All right, that's the end of the round. Clearly a cut sustained there on his forehead, courtesy of that strike. So the cut man will have to close that up and try to prevent it from becoming an issue here as this fight moves forward. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. You ready to fight? Ready. Do it. Round three of a possible five. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kick and zig at each other.
but you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Big power shot there. Well, confidence is high. I repeat, confidence is high. And I got to think when you knock a fighter down in the previous round, that's going to think you can do it again. I mean, confidence is key in anything you do in regards to fighting. So for him to secure that knockdown early, he has to feel good going forward. Oh, nice counter jab to snap the head back. Huge kick right there. Don't want to take too many more of those. Oh, the high kick lands. Oh, that will land it. Yep. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, but he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. Well, big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his moves. Looking to land the leg kick now. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut. And man, it's getting bad now. A lot of oh! Back to his feet. Oh, this could be over soon. He needs to better move. move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either right get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. And he switches his stance yet again. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. Oh! oh Another huge ground strike landed nice by him there. Nice How much more can one man take? All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, nine seconds of round number three. We're playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Apex. And still the baddest man on the planet. I know you haven't retired yet, but uh, I don't necessarily want to see you share the octagon with that monster. I mean, this dude is...